Thank you, TJ. An update now to a story that was first breaking on Eyewitness News this morning. A fire at a duplex on Boston Street in Coventry forced several people out into the cold overnight. Our Julia and Lima spoke with a resident today who is thanking the heroes she says saved their lives. Julianne joins us now with the story from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. The woman who lives here tells me she and her family were able to get out of the apartment quickly before the fire alarms even started going off, and that it's all thanks to her one year old son. Um, no way on most days, one. Autumn Archambault yeah. prays her baby will sleep through the night. He's got issues sleeping as it is. But for it's once, she was grateful he didn't. She says his cries saved the family early Sunday morning. My son woke up at 1 30 in the morning, and my husband went to go get him. I heard the word fire, so I jumped out of bed. I thought my husband was joking. Not a joke, but a terrifying reality. I just saw like red flames. My first thought was get my son, get out. As she was stepping outside, she almost ran right into a Coventry police officer. He met me at the bottom of the steps and he was yelling, is there anybody else in here? Get out, get out, get out. The cop was literally coming up to get us because my yep. alarms did not go off right away. Everyone got out safely and no one was hurt. The police officer and my son and the neighbor driving by were definitely the heroes in this and obviously the firefighters who put the fire out. But the damage inside her second floor apartment is extensive. Archibald says investigators think they know what sparked the blaze. They said that it started on the porch, most likely by a cigarette butt. But despite losing so many of their belongings, Archibald is keeping things in perspective. What matters is my son and my husband and my roommate is, we're okay, none of us were injured, we all got out in time. And she says they'll likely have to stay with friends and family while their apartment is repaired. Reporting in Coventry, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.